Three months ago, there was a terrorist attack in our country. And it is this committee's responsibility to find out how we did not see it coming. What concerns me greatly is that the problem at the heart of preventing the Boston bombings is a failure to share information. We are going to find out what happened, what went wrong, and how to fix it. While all agencies' trainings and equipment worked as seamlessly as possible on the ground, it is clear that there's a need for improvement in our communication and information sharing with federal partners. There's limited access uh, to, uh, to federal systems, uh, and, and that's where the rub is. There, there's, there, there is people, names can fall through the cracks here, the way it's set up. A rule that says if there's threat information on terrorism in a particular jurisdiction, the jurisdiction has to be brought into the conversation about it. Uh, even if the case is closed out, we should know what the allegation was. And at this point in time, that is not happening. They were rendered completely useless as a means of communication at the scene. The capacity of the cell phone companies was overrun by public usage, forcing first responders to rely exclusively on radios. Based on this experience, satellite phone technology is not effective um, because of uh, command posts being inside. Boston's responders were both lucky and good. That's why so many victims survived. The fact that Boston was lucky and good does not mean that the next American city that's hit will be equally lucky or equally good. We cannot assume, based on Boston's performance, that other U.S. cities are prepared to manage a terrorist attack of similar, much less greater magnitude. In fact, there's ample reason to worry.